Hello everyone, so today I wanted to go over uh, an economics modeling problem using differential equations and uh, let's go ahead and look at this problem. So it says a young person with no initial capital invests K dollars per year at an annual rate of return R. Assume that the investments are made con uh, continuously and the return is compounded continuously. Determine the sum S of T accumulated at any time T. Find R equals uh, if uh, R equals 7.5%, uh, determine the K so that uh, $1 million will be available for retirement in 40 years. And lastly, if K equals $2,000 per year, determine the return rate R that must be obtained to have $1 million available in 40 years. All right, so I want you to remember that always the uh, overall rate is going to be nothing but rate in minus rate out. So in other words, we can write D of... Uh, S of T over um, DT that equals to R times F of T plus K. So notice in this case we have uh, only addition and that is because there's no rate out. We're uh, putting in um, money annually which is the K but we're also uh, being given money by by the uh, by the rate. So uh, we have the rate of return R that is also going to add up to the account, which means that it's going to add up to the uh, overall uh, rate. So in other words, we have S prime equals RS plus K. And then we can rearrange that to uh, S prime minus RS uh, equals K. So this is our differential equations, and then from here we can go ahead and solve it. So it looks like we can use the um, integrate, integrating factor, which is going to be uh, this one right here. It's going to be e to the uh, negative r dt. So in other words, it's going to be e to the negative r t. That is our integrating factor. And using the integrating factor method of solving differential equations, we obtain e to the negative uh, r t times s equals to the integration of uh, k times e to the negative rt dt. e to the negative rt times s will equal k as a constant, so nothing happens to that. And then when, th when we take the integral of e to the negative rt, that is, of course, going to be negative uh, e to the r negative rt over r plus c. So let's go ahead and divide on both sides by e to the negative rt so we can get s equals to uh, let's say negative k over r plus uh, c divided by e to the negative rt is going to be e to the rt times c. Okay. So if we read the problem carefully, it says no initial capital. That means that S0 is 0. So in other words, if you plug in 0 for time, T, we're going to have, we're going to get a uh, sum of 0, which is the initial sum stated on the problem. So 0 equals to negative K over R, and then E to the 0 is just 1, so plus C, and C is going to be equal to K over R. Now that we have C, we can rewrite the equation. We have negative K over R, plugging in C over there. We have E to the RT times K over R. So we can factor out K over R, and we will be left E to the RT minus 1. So that is the answer to part A right here we found the uh, equation s of t so let's look at part uh, b where it says if r equals 7.5 percent determine k so that one million dollars will be available for retirement in 40 years so basically in this case we're just going to have to plug numbers in because uh, we know s is one million dollars which is 10 to the 6 that has to equal to k over uh, r K, we don't know, but R is given 0 0.075. And then we have E 
to the r, which is 0 0.075 uh, times time is 40 years, minus 1. And uh, let's go ahead and solve in for k. We have uh, 10 to the 6 times 0 0.075. All divided by e to the 0 0.075 times 40 minus 1 gives us k. So k is going to be equal. Let's go ahead and plug that into the calculator and uh, see what we get. So we're going to have 10 to the 6 times 0 0.075 and we are going to divide that by e to the 0 0.075 times 40 minus 1 and we get 3929 dollars per year so this is the answer to part b and uh, this is a pretty good news if you can uh, get an uh, annual uh, return rate of 7.5% uh, and you invest uh, about $4,000 a year, which you, if you have a good paying job is not a lot yearly, you can retire with $1 million in 40 years. It's pretty good news for us, right? So let's go ahead and look at part C. So we still know that the formula as s equals k over r e to the rt minus 1 right that is the formula that we derived in part a using differential equations and now we know that k is going to be two thousand dollars per year we also know that um, time is going to be 40 years and we're trying to find oh also we know s equals 10 to the 6 which is one million dollars and we're trying to find uh, T, uh, sorry, R. So this is a little bit uh, tricky to find, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, see why. So let's plug in, S is 10 to the 6 equals to, we have K, which is 2000, over R, which we're trying to find, times E to the R times T, which is 40, minus 1, okay? So let's go ahead and um, see what we can do to rewrite this equation. So we can write 10 to the 6 times r divided by 2000 equals to e to the 40r minus 1. And uh, let's see, 10 to the 6 divided by 2000, that is just 500. Should have known that equals to e to the 40 r minus 1. So how do you solve this problem? The logarithm is not going to really help us, but we can use a product logarithm or a, a Lombard uh, W function. However, uh, that is not really going to help us all that much as well because it would be kind of hard to come up with first of all but also it's probably going to give us uh, the solution of r equals to zero which is not a solution because r cannot be zero because we cannot divide by uh, by r so but what we can do is we can bring everything to the other side so we have 500 r minus e to the 40 r plus one equals to zero so we can go ahead and graph this into our calculator and then we can find uh, the values for which y is 0. <clears throat> so if we go ahead and graph that, we are going to get a graph that looks like this. So if you can notice solution 0, 0, which is not what we're looking for because we cannot divide by 0, right? The other solution we can approximate and it looks to be about... Uh, let me see, let's trace that. So it looks to be right about 0 0.97, I would say. 0 0.97. 
or let's see, let's try 98, 0 point, uh, 0.977. Okay, so it's about zero. So that would be a good approximate. It won't be the exact uh, value, but it's a rate that we're looking anyways. So should be a good answer. Okay, in other words, R is going to be 9.77%. And again, this is an approximate, it's not going to be an exact value. Okay, so this is the answer to part C. So again, very, very, very important to remember that uh, the rate is going to be equal to rate in minus rate out. Sometimes we can only have rate in, sometimes we can only have rate out. So be aware of the plus or minus in there. But uh, that is really important when you're solving differential equations um, in modeling terms. So thank you very much for watching and please let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.